Welcome to episode two of Sam on the Farm. It is well hot. It's the 2nd of July, 2018. We're in July already. Uh, thank you to everybody who's subscribed so far to the channel. Um, really good sort of feedback through Facebook and Twitter. So thank you for all uh, for your lovely words. I've flipped my phone over now. So apparently, like all these vloggers, they have their phones on the side and not vertical. So. This is how I should do it from now on. So yeah, I've got a day off from Tatton today. Uh, lovely to spend in the sunshine, but there is no rest for the wicked. So when I'm not on the farm at Tatton Park, I'm usually here in Winterford uh, at the farm, uh, Weaver Dairy House Farm, where I keep my pedigree Hereford cows, who are my absolute pride and joy. I've been breeding Herefords for just over 15 years now. Uh, I started with one cow back in 2003, I think it was. Uh, and yeah, and the herd's just grown, so Herefords are a breed that are native to the UK, they're a beef breed and they're absolutely beautiful. Um, my favourite breed by far, I'm lucky to have some of the most beautiful animals ever. Really placid, really friendly and I just love coming here on my days off and spending some time with the girls. So I'm here today, uh, I've brought something extra special actually. Uh, we're going to try something new this year, I'm all about new ideas, I like trying new things um, and, and different ways of doing stuff. So this year, I don't know if you can see, we're going to go with some of these, okay? And that's a, a garlic lick. Now this year, when the weather is so hot, notoriously flies get around, and flies are a nightmare. We all know that horse flies are just awful at the minute. So somebody said to me last year, have you tried the garlic licks? Because um, the cows lick the garlic, or the, the sweet molasses-y sugary lick. Um, the garlic goes in, comes out through the pores, and that's what uh, gets rid of the flies. It's like us when we go to an Italian and we have some have some garlic. It often our bedroom stink of it than that after. So yeah, we're gonna try it and see how it works and try and obviously cut down costs on medicines and fly porons and, and obviously uh, medication and we're gonna use the, the garlic lick. So we'll see how that works. Should I put that out with the girls in a minute and we'll go and meet the girls and show you some of my absolute favourites. So there's the lick. Take the lid off. Mmm, yummy. The cows love that. Yeah, full of sugar, uh, very molassesy and treacly. Uh, it's got garlic in it as well, so hopefully they'll lick it and it'll get rid of all the flies that are around. Now as much as we're loving all this sunshine in the UK, it's great everyone can have barbecues and sit out and watch the World Cup. For farmers, it's a little bit of a nightmare because obviously to make plants grow, we need sunshine, but we need a little bit of rain as well. So you can see our grazing land here at the farm is starting to dry up a little bit. Very, very dry. I've never known this field so dry. Notoriously, it's one of our wetter ones, but it is rock hard under here. So let's go and see some of the cows. Here they are. I love them. This is this is Belle. Now those of you that went to the Cheshire Show, sorry, the Royal Cheshire Show, uh, she was there with her calf, Rocky, uh, and they're now back at the farm. And uh, Belle is definitely one of my favourites. And you can see the Hereford, lovely sort of chestnutty colour with the trademark white head. Really lovely cow that is, she's well built, great shape to her. And a really good mother to her, the calves we have here. She always wears a good calf. They're quite milky as well, you can see she's, a, she's got a bit of an udder on there. Beef cows aren't known for their milk production, that's a dairy cow thing, which we'll talk about in another episode. Uh, but they usually produce enough milk for just the calf, really. So we have got Rocky around here somewhere. I think he's out in the shade. You see Rosie out there on the tractor, she's taking water to her sheep. Another massive problem that we have is the fact that when there's no rains, we have to take water out. Uh, sometimes the, the, the water pressure gets a bit low to the water truck, we have to go out and we have to take water to them. So it's a little bit of a nightmare, but we'll have a little bit of a walk over here. We have a taker with a lick. Look. This is one of last year's calves, it's now 12 months old. Ooh, she's having to think about it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah, they'll come back to it later, but if I go a little bit further and look under the trees here, I found the rest of the posse. And here they are. All sheltering under the trees. Nice, lovely bit of shade. And we've got some of this year's calves as well. You can see them. This is Rocky, this is Belle's calf. Gorgeous bull calf. 
having a bit of a stretch there, look. Love them, love them to bits. So they're my Herefords, and they will be featuring quite a lot in the Sam on the Farm vlogs that we're doing. This is Norma here. Never misses a meal, this cow. But they're great. But there is another Hereford animal that I really want to introduce to you this afternoon, and he's back in the shed, so let's go and meet him. Well, my absolute pride and joy at the minute is this fella. Have a look at him. There he is. So that's Frodo, and he's a calf from last year, so he's just over 12 months now. Move back a little bit so you can see him. There he is, having a good munch on his food. Bit of afternoon tea for him. And he's a lovely bull, really is. We're going to show him, so if anyone's going to the Nantwich show this year, we're going to be there with Frodo. Uh, we'd like to have taken him to Cheshire show, but uh, struggle for time off work, really, uh, to get there. So yeah, we're going to take him to, to Nantwich. Have another look at him. So yeah, so he'll stay with us for a few more months. Uh, and then he will be sold to go and work as a, as a breeding bull uh, and he'll have one job and one job only I'll leave that one there but so there's a massive demand at the minute for Hereford bulls a lot of dairy farmers tend to use them on their cows and obviously you cross a, a Hereford bull and a dairy cow you get a lovely little cross car uh, there's a really big market for them as well at the minute and the beautiful thing about Frodo, he's got a really nice temperament, which as a bull is what you want as a farmer. You don't want a bull that's a liability and he's quite nasty. You want a nice, quiet bull uh, that'll, that'll be easy to handle, but also gets on with the job as well. So, and he does all three. So yeah, we'll start to advertise him in a, in a few months' time. We'll probably take him down to the, the autumn sale down in Hereford. That's going to be happening in October. So we'll see how he goes on. If we take him to Nantwich show and someone comes along and, and wants to buy him, we may sell him. So uh, he's lovely. He's a big soft teddy bear.